What's going on, my favorite people of YouTube? This is MK the Truth, D O D B E N T. Got one of my favorite silhouettes for us to take a look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, please, you gotta come on and join the family. Also, connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D O D B. And I use them as background music on this channel. Now, before we get started on this particular review, I got to tell some of you new cats that this review is for educational purposes only. This is only MK's analysis video. Then we jumping on the body. Yeah. So we got the Nina Chanel Ebony at Jordan 3. Pretty good looking colorway. I think, you know, what y'all think? Y'all think they should let her do some more colorways of this particular uh, collaboration? I think they should. Anyway box is somewhat bigger than the standard box it's i don't know why it's so bulky i guess it's for the art i'm not sure but it does have this texture that you can hear on the box and i like this sort of a play on the altered uh jump woman i guess that's jump woman because that don't look like a that don't look like a jump man or a jump boy anyway of course this is a woman's shoe let's go ahead and pop the top on you green and orange jump boy mvp 23 paper now let's see what we hitting on because my last pair my last pair was a little bit wonky let's see if we still wonky all right okay Ooh. take a look at it in all its glory what ain't playing are they they ain't playing look at the shape on this bad boy right here look at that that's all that matters and the materials yeah, the materials is probably the primary thing but you got to have both factors sometimes uh i, I can you know let some things slide but whew, on the three the shape has to be there i'll take the shape more than the materials i tell you that anyway like i said this is the nina chanel abney uh edge Jordan three a little bit of something on there so my last pair was a bit bulky it was like that old sort of a uh, Air Jordan 3 style. This one looked like it very much fits the bill. I'll go over the things that was kind of, you know, trash on the other one. Anyway, the toe box is looking very appropriate. You got this very nice suede. It is going to be inconsistent. Some pairs will be high, have higher hair suede uh, than others. Uh, the canvas material, I don't really agree with, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I like it. I, I'll take it. Anyway, you got the air. Oh, that is looking pretty good. And the orange, where you got the regular jump boy, man. And then you got the jump woman on the other side. That looked like a woman, man. I'm going to say that. That's what it looked like. Anyway, flip around to the overhead view. Take a look at the rope style laces. I like it. I like it. I like it. Over here looks pretty good. Nice, interesting green colorway to the sneaker. First time uh, Jordan brand has let anyone alter the uh, Jumpman logo. That is looking really good as well. Flip around to the medial size. Shaping is looking very consistent. I like it. Now, my other pair that I had, my inner guts, the leather was just absolutely horrid. That is looking like it fits the bill. Very, very nice. It is nice and real this time. Thank you. Thank you. And you can see from the tongue here, that is also nice and real. The edge Jordan, you can see the tan edges on the side there, like the inside. I don't know why it's the men's stick on the inside. It's a woman's shoe, but y'all know what time it is. Like that sort of a checkerboard footbed. Really looks good on the shoe. Anyway, flip around to the side. You got that sort of an off-white styled jump boy. Little tag there. And then, of course, you have Nike Air on the boot. Now, I will say I know there's one thing about this, but I don't really care about it. But the spacing between the Nike and the Air and the Nike swoosh is a little bit far apart. They're supposed to be a little bit uh, closer. Or, once again, like I tell you guys, a lot of things are inconsistent. Love the bottom. Orange. You got this sort of a vault thing happening here with the Nike on the bottom let's take a look at the other shoe right quick and y'all know uh, mk is gonna skip <laughs> about this video so we're taking a look at the other shoe for quality craftsmanship and construction oh and we are looking good we are looking good in the neighborhood very nice suede once again just a very nice green color sneaker something just out of left field very different 
very fresh it's not new it's an old silhouette but i like the colorway that she went with with orange and green which always works you got the sill on the air bubble on the inside and yeah man this one's it that last pair wasn't but this one is it we are dropped properly shaping is just looking also oh right everything is fit in the build the only thing i can say is that the spacing on the boot with the nike air is just a little bit too far apart but y'all know what time it is with this stuff like i always tell you they're gonna get you somewhere they fix one thing they're gonna take away another anyway let me know what you guys think about these down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t i love y'all i'm up off this video